Chanel bra complained she trapped in bureaucracy. Chanel stated on Sister Wives last week that she cannot wait for Cody to make decisions or get things done. It would never happen if she did that. As a result, doing it on her own is the best option. The issue is that the family was initially very united, at least in terms of finances. The latest episode discussed how plural families divide their money. Some wives live independently, and their husband distributes allowances to each wife. The Browns decided to keep their own side of family funds. When the original three wives, Mary, Chanel, and Christine, lived in the single family house in Lehigh, Utah, this made perfect sense. Why not combine resources and share them? Furthermore, Chanel and Cody were the primary breadwinners, so the wives' earnings were minimal. They then fled to Vegas, where each wife had her own home. The original wives eventually started their own businesses and became financially independent. They used family money to buy Robin and Christine homes in Flagstaff, while Chanel floundered. She's desperate to get to Coyote Pets, but it has taken her four years. She is now making decisions that are best for herself, but it appears that everyone must have their say. Cody wants her to buy Christine's house as an investment, but this is not something Chanel desires for herself. Cody Bra ignores Chanel's RV issues and blames her. Cody Bra has been very dismissive when it comes to Chanel's RV issues. He acts like he's working very hard with her to fix the problems. Then, in the latest episode, he deemed the RV a lemon and said that they were sold a piece of shit. Fans of Sister Wise are now wondering why he isn't working harder to find a solution. After all, not only Chanel but also their youngest daughter, Savannah, lives there. So, what was Cody doing wrong? Cody appears to find it easier to blame Chanel for the RV than to put in the extra effort to assist her. The RV situation sparked a Reddit thread. One follower had this to say, Grody claims she bought a lemon. Why not get the company out to fix it? Warranty is brand new. This is actually a very legitimate question. Then again, Chanel could have purchased it sale by owner. Another added, because he just wants to gloat about how she made a bad choice rather than actually fix anything for her. Cody stopped by to help level out the RV, which affects how the sewage drains. The main issue is that it's supposed to be self-leveling, but it's not. Cody has grown tired of problem after problem, and Chanel admits she had no idea what she was getting herself into when she bought the RV. However, this was an experience she had long desired. Unfortunately, her husband has refused to ride in the trailer since it arrived in Coyote Pets. He noticed how small it is and how the dogs have more room than him. He has also stated that he had Robin's blood palate to sleep in. So why would he stay in a cramped RV? Despite his attempts to appear more amenable, Cody believes the RV is a huge mistake. He will assist in minor ways but will constantly complain, making her own choices. Chanel has stated that one of the main reasons she makes her own decisions is that she cannot wait for Cody Brown. Things will never get done if she does this. As a result, she's had to take matters into her own hands. Chanel has found an apartment in town because her permit is about to expire. Cody is irritated that she did not consult him on this. After Christine's offer falls through, he is seen pushing her to buy her home in the following episode. One Redditor had this to add. The issue is this family collectively doesn't have two brain cells to rub together, so they continue to make financially disastrous choices.